It's not a secret that the US intelligence organization, the CIA, has overthrown many foreign governments. Here are five of the subtle and not so subtle ways it's done it. The first thing the CIA will usually try is funding the opposition. This is the safest and easiest method for the CIA. It can be as simple as giving money to opposition groups or as complicated as supporting a military coup. And it happened in South Vietnam in 1963. Similar instances happened in Brazil and Guatemala. Declassified documents show how the CIA supported the coup plotters, namely Vietnamese generals, to oust the country's leader, Ngo Dinh Diem. Number 2. Assassination Killing leaders to install a US-approved party is another option. The CIA continuously tried to assassinate the democratically elected leader of the Congo, Patrice Lumumba. They succeeded in 1961. But public support for Lumumba was so high that they couldn't put his opponent in power. What followed was four years of political chaos. 3. Destroying the economy or economic assassination By using overt and covert means to destroy the target country's financial system, like embargoes, the US can force a political party to crumble. This strategy was used against Chile in the 1970s. After Salvador Allende's unyielding policy of nationalizing the country's major industries continued, much to the disapproval of the US government, President Richard Nixon told the CIA to, quote, make the economy scream. The agency also worked with three Chilean groups, which planned a coup against Allende. The US constantly worked to undermine the Chilean economy until General Augusto Pinochet replaced Allende in a military coup in 1973. Number 4. Media Takeover The CIA will buy and use newspapers, TV, and radio stations to change public opinion and push anti-government rhetoric. This is what it did in Rome, Italy in the mid-20th century. The CIA bought and owned 40% of the Rome Daily America, initially to keep it from falling into communist control. But a former CIA official later said, quote, it's easier to buy a reporter, which we've done, than to buy a newspaper. And the agency has kept many American and foreign journalists on its payroll. Number five, creating chaos. Causing panic among the people and creating social tensions through street protests is another way the agency has overthrown governments. And making sure the protesters don't know the real motives are also key. The fact that Iran's democratically elected leader Mohammad Mossadegh nationalized an Iranian oil industry previously operated by British companies was not very welcome by the US and the UK. The two countries instigated a coup to overthrow him in 1953, mainly through the efforts of the CIA. To throw Mossadegh out, millions of dollars were channeled into Tehran to buy off his supporters and finance street protests. The result? Mossadegh ended up living the rest of his life under house arrest. This is what we do know about the secretive organization, but who knows what we don't know.